I've said over the years that I fought too long and too hard against discrimination based on race and color. Not to stand up and speak out against discrimination based on sexual orientation. Apparently, the governor of the state has not read his recent history books. Maybe have not watched a segment of, of Eyes on the Prize. People of color in the American South, as the speaker indicated, could not register to vote simply because of the color of their skin. Could not take a seat at lunch counters in a restaurant. Could not take a seat on the front of the bus. Could not visit state capitals. We saw those signs mob white waiting, colored waiting, white men, colored men, white women, colored women. We have been put to a referendum. We would have never ever won. No, no one in the state legislature in Alabama or in Georgia or Mississippi or any of the 11 southern states of the old confederacy from Virginia to Texas would have had the courage to say let's go by referendum. The action of Congress, executive orders of presidents, and the courts brought down those signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. Just think a few short years in the American South, people stood in unmovable lines for the right to vote. People were asked to pass a so-called literacy test. They cut the number of bubbles in a bar of soap. The number of jelly beans in a jar. We had to march, we had to protest. Some of us were beaten, some of us were jailed. I gave a little blood on that bridge in Selma. So here, we have to stand up. The question of civil rights, the question of human rights, the question of human dignity. Dr. King used to be asked when it came to the question of Interracial marriage, he would say, races don't fall in love and get married. Individuals fall in love and get married. If two men want to fall in love and get married, two women, it's their business. It's not the role of the federal government or the state government to intervene. It's a question of human dignity, a question of human rights. I think the day will come in New Jersey and all across our country when we will look back on this period and say we were just silly, we were just foolish. Let's do what is right, what is fair, and what is just.